Hi guys, I'm Vanessa Canby and I'm here with, well, I know you as the Ghanaian vegan. Yeah. What is your real name? So um, my name is Zoo, short for Zoofika. Most, okay. most people call me Zoo because it's a mouthful, but either is fine. <laughs> Where is that name from? Like what tribe is it's, your family from? My family is Ewe, but my name is Arabic. I think my dad just met someone with the name and he liked the name and he had a good connection with him. So he just kind of gave me the name, but I'm very Ghanaian and I'm Ewe, so yeah. <laughs> okay. So today, you're actually going to teach me how to cook a vegan meal. Yep. I basically don't cook. I can cook, I guess, maybe if I tried, yeah. but I don't do it. So yeah. I'm really excited to like see what we're going to cook today. What is the plan? So we're going to make a tour. Let me try and give you like a quick backstory. So I know like traditionally a lot of people in Ghana, especially in like the Ghana and Akan communities, use a tour as like a, a birthday meal. All right. So instead of cakes, they would make a tour and Ooh, give it to people. That's that sounds good. And it's usually topped with like, in local communities, topped with like eggs. But obviously, I can't eat eggs because oh, yeah. I'm vegan, so I use avocados. Oh, just top nice. it with avocados. So, so is it sweet then, if it's like a replacement for cake? No, nah, it's more savory than sweet, but the plantains kind of make it a bit sweet. Okay, nice. So, I'm going to go into my bag. Oh, that's this has really cool. most of my stuff. So is this bowl? Yeah. What is it? Like, what, what what's, has it got in What's name? it called? It's, it's called an Asanka. I only just found this out like two weeks ago. I've always seen these bowls at home, but I never knew what it was called. Mm -hmm. it, was just, it was just the, the bowl. <laughs> yeah. You know, I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> so yeah, we've got two plantains that are like getting ripe. We've got some peanuts. We've got an onion. We've got two avocados. I don't think we need both, but okay. you never know. And we've got some peppers. It's a lot. We only need like two. But Here we are with the five fish. We have today. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so you went shopping for these things yeah. before we came. Before, so yeah. people can get like a sort of idea of the price of things. Yeah. How much did these cost? I would say everything here probably cost like 30. Five. All right, okay, 35 yeah. series. Because the avos were kind of expensive because apparently they're going out of season. Oh, so right. in a different, like a different part of the year, different time of the year, it would be cheaper, maybe like 20, because they're seasonal, seasonal food, oh, so yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's get started. So what is the first step? The first step is we need to cut these up and put them on the stove to boil. All right, okay. So should we do one each or do we yeah, just one? Yeah, one each, yeah. Okay. I'll take this baby knife. Now you're gonna see if I can actually cook or not. And I, if I can actually um, start this, let me. Plantain is actually something that I do cook okay. sometimes. Well, fry. Mm -hmm. I say plantain. I know some people say plantain. I does, say plantain. Does anyone here say plantain? I think I think plantain is more like a Caribbean, Caribbean thing, thing. Yeah. yeah. So what is it? So it's a vegetable, right? Or mm, is it a fruit? I think it's a fruit because it's very banana. It looks like a banana. Oh, is so it? So it gives me. It really gives me fruit vibes. So oh. I would I would guess it's a fruit. I actually don't. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. So hang on. How am I meant to be cutting this? Is this the right? This is fine because we're going to mash it anyway, so it really doesn't matter the size. All oh, right, okay. You can go bigger though; it makes it faster. Oh, but the yeah, mashing. I mean, like the the, oh, okay, okay, the okay. slices could be bigger. So we're going to mash it all up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So yeah, let me show you a trick on how to peel um, okay. plantains. Because I saw you peeled it like a banana. <laughs> yeah. But it's not a banana. <laughs> so all you have to do is like go in, and mm -hmm. then go all the way down. Okay. And just like peel it open, like kind of like a. I don't know. The book? I don't know. Oh, and so you can actually get the whole thing the whole out. The whole thing out, yeah. <coughs> because I easier. guess I'm going to come across an issue yeah. when... It's faster. Oh, nice. So how do you cut your plantain? plantain? Um, it depends. If, if I'm going to fry it, I'll probably do it like this. Mm -hmm. But because I'm boiling it, I'll just go like... Just, you know, bigger slices. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. so the next step. So now we need to boil this, Now right? we need to boil this, yeah. So we can just put okay. this in the bowl. So do you speak... Um, Ewe, you said you were Ewe. Do you speak it? Unfortunately, no, I don't. What? But I'm, I would like to learn. Okay, So if nice. anyone wants to teach me, just <laughs> let me know. <laughs> oh, let you're looking know. for a teacher? Yeah, I would like a teacher, honestly, because I feel like it's something, it's really important for me and for anyone really to speak the local languages. Mm -hmm. You and just want to stay in touch with the culture and everything, so yeah. How do you think that that happened, that you can't speak any Ghanaian language, yet you were like, were you born here? I was born here. Yeah. Born and raised and here? Raised here, yeah. So yeah, growing up, my, my family, my school, my friends, everybody spoke English. Right. So the only times I would hear people speaking other languages like randomly on the streets or, you know, so I never really had long enough conversations with people. Mm -hmm. It's only people just, they'll try and speak to me and be like, oh, I don't understand. Like, what? Why? Da -da. Mm. So it needs to be like intentional. It needs to be intentional, like your yeah. Your parents yeah. either need to speak to you yeah. or you need to be like trying to learn the language. Exactly. Like a lot of people who are like bilingual or understand a lot of the local languages, they spoke the languages to them from like birth. Like oh, they spoke yeah. all the like English, the, everything. 
Mm -hmm, and then the after yeah. like by age three, four, you yeah, realize you that speak, speak all those languages. Yeah, so. no, it's true. Okay, let's go and uh, boil this. Let's do this. You asked me if I had salt, and as I said, I don't really cook. <laughs> but let's see, I might actually have some more. Hmm. So I don't have any salt. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping cash. <laughs> I have no salt, which means we're now going to have to take to the streets. I mean, th this just shows the actual like appalling nature of this. You need to have salt. Like salt's the, the only thing. Oh my god. But let's go, let's go. Okay, yeah. yeah. Salt. I wanted to ask you though before we start this, how long have you been vegan? It's about two and a half years now. And why did you decide to? Initially, I was just curious. It's like there's a multiple number of reasons, but then I'll say the main reason was I was curious because a couple of my friends did it. Yeah, I just wanted to try it and I tried it. It made sense to me, so I just stuck to it. But did you like research it and stuff, or you just thought I just want to try oh, it? I did lots of research. For me, I'm the type of person who I, I don't believe most of the things I see in mm -hmm. here, so like, I want to find out for myself. So I only tried after a lot of oh my I researched like two years. <laughs> oh, did you before you actually before did I actually it. tried it because I was like it didn't make sense to me because I've always been taught that you need to eat meat and mm -hmm. all these things. So it didn't make sense to me. So I did a lot of research before I actually tried it, and then when I tried it, I was like, oh, okay, I actually feel good. Like I feel mm -hmm. a lot better. So that's why I did it. Yeah. And your parents, being Ghanaians, like what was their thoughts? Because as you said, you grew up thinking that yeah. you needed to eat meat. Yeah. So. Funny thing is, my dad is actually vegetarian. Oh right. He's been vegetarian like before I was born, so he was like, "Okay, if you can." Because mm -hmm. they, didn't, they didn't think I cook because I, I never used to cook. Amazing. Okay, so what? So what's the first step? We need to boil the water. Eh? No. So we boil, we boil the plantain in the water. It's so, like put the plantain. Oh, in. you boil at the same time. At the same time, yeah. Oh, okay. Can't say I've ever done that. I normally like boil the water. Yes, yeah. In the. You could probably do it that way, but. Does it not make it quicker? Yeah, but we have other stuff to do, so we Oh, right, okay, so we leave it boiling, yeah, I see. Really do you use tap water when boiling? I, I usually do, actually, I usually oh, do. Oh, do you? So, just tell me when it's <laughs> stop. Uh, I think it's fine. Okay. We need to, like, put a little bit of salt in there. Oh, yeah. Um, a bit more. A bit more. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Dice and onion? Yeah, actually. Oh, okay. I did um, whole Mac at school. Okay, yes. Well, let's see if I can remember. Did you go to university after school? I did, yeah. Where did you go? I went to University of Ghana. And what did you study there? Psychology. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And then what are you doing now? Like, is your Instagram page your full-time job or do you do other things as well? Not a full-time thing, but it's taking more of my time than mm -hmm. it used to. But really, my main thing is like photography, graphic design, video editing, I shoot videos as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, just a lot of like visual content. That's what I do. That is um, so random in comparison to like what you studied. Yeah. In terms of like job opportunities in Ghana, at least, if you have a psychology degree, it's not that much you can do because if, let's say, I was going to be a therapist, a lot of people are not really into therapy. Oh, right. The What's the next step here? Yeah, so this goes in here. All right. What's your favorite restaurant that caters to vegans? It could be a vegan restaurant here. Wow. It's always hard for me to say a favorite because I just know someone will be in my message like, why didn't you say me? Why didn't you say my? <laughs> okay, right, let's so, do a top, top yeah, five. Yeah, I could do like a top five, yeah. And then if they're not included in that, then sorry, you're just not good enough. I didn't say it, she said it. <laughs> Am I doing this right? Yeah. Okay, okay let's let see me, how you do yeah, it. Let me show then... you. So you kind of have to use, because if you can see, like there's some grooves like mm -hmm. in, the, in the pot. So you kind of have to like slide it. Oh, I see. That way, so like, kind of like mash it up. So this is what people were using before blenders. What's the aim? Like, are you trying to really get it to nothing? You know, like to... Yeah, um, okay. Honestly, me, when I make this, yeah, for sure. When I make this, I try to blend it. Oh, in a blender. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go through all of this. Um, but like I said, just because I want you to like, 
experience See, I was, it. Yeah, yeah, no, I was really cool. done. But I guess do we add the um, plantain to this? So add the plantain to this, mash it up, and we'll add like the peanuts. Oh, just, nice. It's just like a one pot thing, just add everything. Oh my gosh, and then I'm so excited. Top it with this. Home so it's, meal. it's really easy, mm -hmm. easy to make. Actually, I forgot to mention, most people use palm oil when they make this. Oh. I'm not really a big fan of like oils. Why? Or like that much oil. I don't particularly like the taste. And oh, right. I'm just not a fan of a lot of oils. I just like my good old olive oil. Okay, yeah. And I like sesame oil too. Oh, nice. That's about it, yeah. Okay, so next, do you think the, plant, the plantain? Should yeah. be, yeah, it should be ready. Okay. See, this is this is how like when when I cook things, I was saying to you once I cook it, I don't really want oh, want to eat it. Yeah. It's because I see all of the stuff. Yeah. You know, you don't just see the end nice product. So we just need to like. So now we just add in the plantains. I hope they're, they're kind of soft. I feel like we cooked them a bit too long. Oh, it's... Just need to add it without the water. Do you think they'll still be alright, or you think? Uh, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I hope we'll be fine. Because of that, we might not need to add this because really, this was just Liquid. yeah. This was just to keep it soft. Because mm. you know, like when it's when it cools down, because it's hot. When it cools down, it gets harder. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's just too hard. So you want to add oh, <coughs> peanut butter right, to just okay. keep it to keep it like smooth. Um, so we might not need that anymore, but we'll see. So how long do you normally cook the plantain for? For anyone wanting to. I think I need to start timing these things, but I would say oh. like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. Also, it depends on how ripe the plantains are. Oh, yeah, so, okay. okay. So now you have to mash it in. Oh, yeah, this is soft. Do you think it's too soft? It's quite soft, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll try our best. So then, I mean, if it's this soft, we don't need to mash it up too much because then it's it, pretty much already mashed. It's already mashed. So, do we mix it in though? So, now we have to mix it in, yeah. If it wasn't this soft, you'd kind of like be mashing it in. Did you just now, do it like that? Yeah, so you just have to mix oh, it in right. now, okay. I guess. Okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> all these steps of cooking that just put me off eating the food. I don't know why. Ah. Yeah. It's like reminding me of like salsa or something. Yeah, I see what you mean. As in basically just the onions and the... So now we need to add a bit of this okay. just for texture while you're eating, I guess. Oh, so these don't get mashed? So you just kind of like mix them in. I mean, some would... You don't have to mash it up intentionally, but it's just like a few bites while you're eating the thing. Mm, crunch, the crunch. Exactly, for the crunch. Okay, so is this it? Basically, is this basically it? this is it. Do you see there was one on my IG? Mm -hmm. That I kind of like shaped. Actually, yeah. put it in a bowl and like pressed oh, it, like we shaped okay, it. Okay, we've got a bowl. We don't need to do that though. Oh, but it looked really nice. The one that was like really rounded Round, yeah, on top. Yeah. So you have to like put it in a bowl. Do you think it's like way too soft? It's way too soft, yeah. Okay. So it was basically just. So let me see what you did. You just pushed it down. Pushed it down and then like turn it. Oh, you know onto I mean? a plate. Onto a plate, yeah. So let's see. So just put the plate on top. Okay. All right, I'll let you do this. Though. Yeah, and then just like. Let's Suspense. see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? No, it's stuck. Do you think I need to put this in? Wait, let me let me give it like a good jerk. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, I think it's coming out. Like really slow. Yeah, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. Yeah, it's basically there. But I feel like it's just going to go flat. Yeah, because it's so soft. Oh, but let's see. Oh, it's coming, it's coming on this side. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, maybe use a spoon to like kind of... Okay. But yeah, I think it's too soft. Mm. <laughs> okay, let's just try and shape it ourselves. Yeah. Maybe. It, doesn't... it looks totally different as well, I feel like. Yeah, so that one had palm oil. 
so it oh, was darker. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's try and make it. How does it taste? What does it taste like? Does it taste right? Yeah, that's pretty much the taste. Just too soft. Oh, like even when you're eating it? You could still enjoy it though, but I guess if you had like the, the usual texture, mm -hmm. this might be a bit annoying. So yeah, this is just for... Well, for like garnishing. What's yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> So let's see how you cut an avocado. That's a huge nut, seed, nut. Yeah, seed. So could I plant this and get an avocado tree? I guess so, yeah. I've never tried before, but well, it should work. I feel like it's broken. I don't I don't know how these things work, but yeah. Nah, I think that's how this, oh, okay. this they split sometimes. So we never actually got to your top five restaurants oh, that yes. um, serve vegan food. <laughs> the number one. Number one. Okay, it can be in non, it, it can be in like not the order. If you want. Okay, yeah, definitely in no, yeah, in no, no, particular, in no order. particular order. Okay, so I will say, um, has vegan restaurant. That's in. Oh yeah, love you've, it. You've been there. Yeah, yeah been there. Really I've actually got a video where I go there, so I'll link that down below. That's really good. What would you order from there? I really like the jollof. Oh nice. Yeah. Where else? I have to give a shout out to Mahogany. Mhm. Mm yeah, they're doing their thing. Mahogany is good as well. That's two. I'll say Palm Moments as well. Where uh, is that? They have a branch in Osu and one in Asylum Down. Okay. And what would you order from there? So let me just say, uh. They didn't have a vegan restaurant till I said they should have one because I used to go there before I'm a vegan. Mm -hmm. And it's like, guys, I like your space and I want to stay here, but now you don't have food I can eat. Oh. You know, so they just, it was really cool of them. They just like introduced vegan options to their menu. Oh, wow. So, so it's could, actually inspired by you. So. Yeah, they even like some of their stuff, they kind of goes from my, my pages. So that's really oh, cool. Right. So good spam moments. Famous like <laughs> chef here, no, like no, even no. inspiring restaurants. <laughs> So yeah, um, palm moments for sure. You said, what do I like? They have a vegan Alfredo pasta and pesto pasta as well. They also have like coconut rice and mushroom sauce. Mm, yeah. This sounds so, so good. Yeah, they've got good stuff. Okay, and then one last one. I'll, I think I'll give it to Bee's, Bee's Vegan Kitchen. It's in Osu. All right, I've never been there. Do you know Tatale Vegan Restaurant? I'll, I'll mention Tatale as well. Vegan restaurant in Osu. I've heard of it, but I've actually never been. I like the, the way their food tastes. It tastes very fresh. Mm -hmm. It's like if they told you like they have a farm behind the shop. Oh, you would believe it. I would believe it, yeah. So I guess we've finished our dish. Is it finished? You, you can do better than this. <laughs> no, like you've got like a whole avocado and you just put these like. Oh, you were meant to put the whole avocado in there. I thought it was just like decoration. No, no, no. We're actually going to eat the avocado as well. Okay. Okay, so, so you can add I think to we just it need. Yeah, I'm just gonna like put these around or something. Okay, I guess this could be like on top of the, and then yeah, you can also put a couple of these on. Very nice. Yeah. I'm actually scared to eat it. This is this is what happens to me. I get to the end and I'm just like, ah, oh, no, I've got to eat it. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> It's nice. Yeah, it's all right. I, I think, um, tip, don't forget your plantains <laughs> on the stove. Do you know what? It still tastes like really nice. It tastes yeah. mainly of plantain. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I mean, is that basically, so is this taste a, the same? Yeah, it tastes the same, it's just too soft. Okay, but I, I, it's nice. Like I would definitely eat this. Yeah. And it looks like a really filling meal as well. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. If you ate that whole thing, you'd be so full. I don't even think one person should. Oh, eat the whole <laughs> That's thing. That's a lot, yeah. Yeah, because it's like two plantains. Yeah. And even with the, the nuts and everything, I'm sure there's a lot of, there's protein in nuts, right? It's protein in nuts, even protein in avos. Oh, right, it's protein, okay. on, honestly, in almost every plant, there's mm -hmm. some level of protein. So you just need to like diversify your sources, you know, try a lot of different things and it should be fine. So do you feel like you get enough protein then? Oh yeah. Because I feel like that's one thing that people are like, oh, vegans don't get enough protein. It's, it's honestly, it's, it's easy. It's easy to get a lot of protein. You just have to eat well. Okay. Eat enough and eat like mm. a varied diet and mm -hmm. you should be fine, yeah. That's like not me. I'm literally anemic and like everything. I need to eat more things like this, yeah, I think, yeah. and then I'll be better. But thank you so much for coming on you're the welcome, channel. You're welcome. For showing me how to cook. This was fun. Enu. <laughs> how, do you, how do you pronounce it? Eto. Eto. Okay, I got the word wrong. <laughs> okay, so thanks so much for coming on the channel and showing me how to cook. Eto. 
and I will definitely try this again and even give it to my kids and that sort of thing and you know it brings more fruits and vegetables into my diet yeah um, and if anybody wants to check out your Instagram page I'll put that in the description below and you can find out about vegan restaurants in my YouTube oh yeah YouTube channel yeah coming soon hopefully it'll be up by the time it, this video it will up. be I'll make sure it is so yeah. um, go down there you'll find out way yeah. more vegan Ghanaian recipes uh -huh. which we all need because honestly I, don't, I won't even get into the fact that when you ask for vegetarian you don't get vegetarian here yeah. but okay <laughs> see you later bye bye